Welcome back everyone, this is Dixon and today we are checking 7 red flag phrases. The list itself was inspired by Stefan Speaks, so thanks Stefan, go check his channel out. Many people say red flags, red flags, red flags, but what are red flags in short? Are your red flags good enough? In short, red flags is more or less anything you see in somebody that warns you uh, about a quirk that they have or something that you should be avoiding. So I see something, hmm, pattern recognition, I should be avoiding this. So things like that where you need to recognize what you need to stay away from a person. So this one is more or less directed to the ladies and the red flags you more or less see in guys that you should be avoiding. And again, before we even talk about red flags, what are your red flags? Are they reasonable? If your red flags are not exactly reasonable, you need to judge whether your red flags are good or not. So if you are not exactly sure whether your red flags are reasonable, take them, write them down and also go and meet the people around you, the people in your life that have successful long-term relationships. Go and meet people who are veterans in marriage and in relationships and show them your red flags to judge whether your red flags make sense or they are just superficial so do that so if you notice some red flags in the people you are in relations with or people you are considering relationships with it's not wise to automatically rule them out check with them to see whether what you have discovered in their life whether it is truly a concern as in they will not tell you that it's a concern though but you yourself ask questions enough questions to help you clear out any doubts to make sure that i am not judging this person based on their worst state you don't want to see a bad side of someone when they are not in their good state so check with them know why they are doing some things and rule them as red flags or not don't just automatically say mm, i see this thing in his life i saw this thing in his life hey red flag red flag red flag it's not always automatic people are dynamic people are different ask more questions before you determine that this person is truly a red flag or not or that this thing in this person is truly a red flag or not if it's not fixable run don't bother again shout out to stefan speaks he gave this list and i just wanted to put my own twist into it so the first phrase in the list is what do you bring to the table this this phrase has been used in so many places, so many podcasts, so many things. The people using this phrase are not necessarily using them for bad motives, but it contains a lot of baggage. It has a lot of baggage. So you want to ascertain and check whether this person is using this particular phrase for the right reason and not because he wants to get everything he needs to get out of me, then leave. He only is with me based on what he can get from me. So you as a lady, you should more or less ask questions to decipher whether that is the exact situation in your own case you don't want to end up with a guy that just wants to just use you gain different things out of you and just bail that's the worst case scenario for you but at the same time you can just be an innocent guy who just wants to know the benefits of you being in his life but he doesn't know how to phrase it properly so have that grace and forgive that person but i for one i will not say a guy should ask that question plainly investigate be with that person for a while you'll be able to judge whether this person can add anything to your life it's not a question you should be asking to a lady directly like that if you are liking this video please press the subscribe button and the notification bell help us to get to 1000 subscribers another one is i just got out of a serious or a long-term relationship most times when people say this is because they are trying to tell you that i just came out of something long i already invested myself there i might not be able to invest myself as i did to that one to you so it's a little concerning you need to also dig more <laughs> to know whether bridges have been burnt here or whether good reconciliation or not necessarily reconciliation good severance as in they parted ways well and they properly separated you need to check because some people some people will live long-term relationship and have picture in their bed and be crying i miss him or i miss her you don't want that kind of thing if you've separated you should be separate so you need to investigate whether this person is still invested even indirectly with your that person that they just left the mosquito just fly <laughs> another thing i will also say is apart from separating and co completely separating i will also ask have you truly forgiven the other person or maybe not ask directly you can tell that from the person's language whether they blame the other person for everything and different kind of thing or you should ascertain have there been proper forgiveness but some people say reconciliation reconciliation just means uh, coming together or settling scores i don't want to mix those two words together but did the two people separate in a way we he is not leaving or rather he's not having a grudge on the lady the lady can have a grudge against him that's fine 
if he has done his own part to more or less mend the relationship to ask for forgiveness and all those things and it was not given it is fine but the question is did he leave hostily hostily is that even a word <laughs> did he leave in hostility or did he just leave and at the same time forgive or even ask for forgiveness something like that so you don't want somebody who just ends relationships um for ending sake and causing a ruckus and not seeking any way to forgive each other you don't want that another phrase to be concerned with is let's just go with the flow my own interpretation of that is i don't know what is happening here i don't know whether i like you but let's just see where things go you don't want that from a man <laughs> <laughs> because in other words a man should be sure that he likes you it doesn't have to be head over heels for you he should like you in some sense and that is fine in short many of us men we've been guilty with this kind of things we probably never said it but it has happened to most men let's just go with the flow i don't know whether i like you let's just go with the flow so it's something you need to be concerned about and you also need to ask questions and check whether this person is just aloof and just wants to do a casual thing or this person has a goal i want to get married i want us to reach this particular situation if i like you we go on if i don't like you we we leave in short there has to be some form of plan and not going with the flow if you are dating for marriage as you should you should not go with the flow because it is almost hopeless don't even do it your father will not be happy with you <laughs> another phrase will be my ex was crazy i will make her crazy <laughs> Hey. <clears throat> so the questions I will ask, yeah, I will have here is why? Why was your ex crazy? Are you a contributor? What part did you play in making that person crazy? If it is none, I don't know. I just want to hear your own part. Maybe it's the way you are perceiving that person, or are you exaggerating? Because that's another case. When you meet somebody where anytime they tell you about the people around them or the people they've had involvement with, uh, relationships rather with, they always have something negative to say. It's not a good sign. They should at least have some positive things to say about that person i know that person is not a saint but they should not always say this person was crazy this person is a psychopath this person is a this this person is a that what good thing did you see in the person will make you stay with them in the first place so that's something to be cautious of if they say my ex was crazy how ask questions you don't want to be part of his story where he tells people that you also became one of his crazy ex and say ah, that girl she was crazy so in order not to fall under that list so you need to investigate and check why did he classify his ex as crazy you might be the next person he will classify as crazy another phrase phrase will be i don't really know what i'm doing with my life right now mm, mm, mm. that phrase should not be uttered by a man that is stable i'm not saying that there are not times when men will be at that particular situation it happens but the man is the leader he should not be without a plan if he's at a stage in his life where he actually is clueless it's a season it happens to everybody do not get into a relationship with that kind of person at that time you can be around him you can help him out you can be his friend but you cannot date him for a relationship it is useless you even add more problems to his head imagine somebody not knowing what is going on in his life right now or doesn't have a plan and you have your emotional needs to be bet as a woman attention listening to you don't blame it <laughs> hey he will just die <laughs> So you don't need that kind of person in your life at that moment. If you can wait for him, wait for him. But generally, you won't be able to. Most ladies will not be able to. So don't go and overestimate your capability. That ah, love will find a way. You go die, you. Uh -huh. Here they go, just kill you. So just be patient. Analyze yourself. Is this something I can tolerate? If it is no, do not tolerate it. Help him from a distance and move on. Men will understand. And if by some chance he ends up healing and finds his direction maybe then you guys can have that relationship that you think you can have but my own advice would be don't do it just let chance happen let him heal naturally and if by some chance you're available and he's available then you people can work something out another phrase is i'm really focused on my career right now this is not exactly a bad thing but it's indirectly sending the message of it's not necessarily indirectly it's a man telling you that everything apart from my career is secondary at the moment that includes you or relationships so if you don't want to be part of that statistic of secondary don't bother to enter into relationship with this kind of person because how do you know how long he wants to focus on his career if he wants to focus for 40 years will you wait you die now and if you are thinking you can more or less change him and make him focus on you and it doesn't happen you get frustrated don't even bother because you will derail 
him in his career and you also derail him in your relationship so this kind of person ask questions and know whether this person wants to really focus on his career for like a year or, or five years then he can look at relationships but in the real sense if someone does that what is the chance that in five years they will reach that goal that they say they want to reach most likely you will not rather he will not reach that goal will he then say I want to add five more years. And if he says, I want to add five more years, are you willing to wait five more years or 10 years on a stretch? So don't play this game, please. Don't play it. It's a red flag, but you need to also get clarification and to see if this is something that you yourself can deal with. The other phrase is more or less not direct, but something in the line of marriage is a waste of time or marriage does not benefit men or marriage is just a paper kind of thing if you hear that from a guy it's a very serious thing the same way i tell guys don't marry a feminist that's the same way i tell women don't marry a man that does not value marriage the men who want to get married generally are mentally prepared uh, for the issues that will come when you get married or in case a marriage fails Bring up, taking of the child, police, child support, and all those kind of things, depending on what country you are from. These things also that they are prepared for, they also scare some men. Or rather, they scare a lot of men. Let me not say some. If you want to get married, and you know the reason why this man doesn't want to get married, it's because of the fear of what can happen after a divorce. It's your job to help him remove every area of that fear because he already has a good intention to get married but there are dangers in getting married why don't you help him to remove those dangers because most men in my generation they've reached a stage where they get scared of what could happen to you after you get divorced and they know they want something like a prenup but the fear of if i tell her about a prenup now then she gets angry and she feels as if she was forced to do it i rather not even tell her at all I'd rather not even get married. Let's just stay on our own. If a guy is willing to just stay on his own with you, he, he clearly values marriage, but he is scared of what the government can do to him if anything goes wrong. If he was willing to stay with you, why don't you also make that trade with him? Alleviate his fear for prenups by signing it or agreeing with him or seeing the reason why he is afraid of all these things. In other words, he's taking a risk. He wants you also to take a risk with him. He doesn't want a one-sided situation where he's taking a risk, but there's security for you when you get into this thing. In other words, you two must enter into this thing with equal risk. Like it or not, if you enter into a marriage without signing a prenup, the government signs one for you and for people who say uh if he gets if he gets a prenup he doesn't love you you people are don't you don't know what you're saying you don't know what you're saying it's just opinion he wants to marry you and he doesn't want the government to determine who gets what and what gets what he wants both of you to decide it by yourself he wants you to the two of you to draft it not the government drafting it so marriage is about you and your spouse so both of you should agree on things before entering into it that's for the guys who actually want to get married but for the guys that don't want to get married ladies please run run away from them like they are running away from explosion like godzilla is behind you running racing towards you run away it's not going to end well so in other words still get clarification to see where the guy falls whether he falls on the i know what marriage side or i do want marriage side so that is the seven red flag phrases that guys can tell you as a lady so please be aware and share this video if you think it will affect or benefit somebody that you know who maybe she has seen some of these red flags in the people that she's around or the people that are cutting her share the video share it on your socials help the channel like it subscribe and i will see you guys and girls here next time bye bye subscribe do it now